In the news department today, Jackie Robinson. He would have been 100 years old this year. The man who broke baseball's color barrier spent a lot of years training here in our area, Vero Beach, in fact. Today, Major League Baseball preserved that legacy. News Channel 5's John Shaman live for us at the former Dodger Town Complex with how it's doing just that. John. Well, Shannon, they are doing that by renaming this facility. No longer will it be historic Dodger Town. Instead, it will be the Jackie Robinson Training Complex. And Robinson's family was on hand today to take part in the ceremony. The unveiling of the new name Tuesday, a moment not just for baseball historians. It is American history, you know, and it wasn't just my dad that played here. You know, we had, I remember when uh, Roy Campanella was here. It meant a lot. It's an honor. What Jackie Robinson did not lost on youngsters who take part in Vero Beach's RBI program. Allowing us to play and have fun. Major League Baseball, which agreed in December to lease the former Los Angeles Dodgers spring training facility, will invest millions to improve baseball and softball youth programs. We feel that uh, Dodger Town is an important part of uh, Major League Baseball's history, and renaming it the Jackie Robinson Training Complex um, allows us to preserve that history and make sure that this facility is always a part of Major League Baseball. Fort Pierce's Charles Johnson, a 12-year major leaguer, remembers coming here as a kid. It means a uh, the world to me to see uh, Major League Baseball come here and, and, and really bring a lot of kids um, to this community. An indoor training facility is slated along with upgrades to Holman Stadium, a new look in the future to go along with a new name. Now, April 15th is a day all professional baseball players will wear Jackie Robinson's number 42, including here at Holman Stadium, where the St. Lucie Mets will host the Fort Myers Miracle. That game time will start at 6.42 p.m., number 42, Robinson's number. We're live in Vero Beach. John Shaneman, WPTV, News Channel 5.